Hello, hello, guys. So, uh, we're gonna continue. Part 2, setup of the Middleware and MongoDB. We're gonna set up all that right now. So, uh, when we end the last time, uh, we just set up finally the basic uh, ExpressJS server. So, we just... Uh, nothing. I mean, just a uh, local uh, host working with a port. Nothing more. What we're gonna do now? The plan is add Mongoose. Mongoose is at ORM. Uh, for MongoDB, you just make your life easier to work with MongoDB. After that, body parser, we want to parse the request as a JSON. After that, Morgan, what is Morgan? I'm going to show you, it's going to be better for you to see it, but it's just finally a way to see what's happening to your server. So finally, which route uh, have been toggled. After that, compression and element, two package we want it in production. We're going to add it right now because it's so much easier to add it. Compression. We're gonna compress, um, uh, we're gonna gz up with the server. An element, 11 library for security. Nothing more to do than just writing one line of code. Why don't I add this? So after that, we're gonna set up the config folder and set up the constant just to make the app looking better. So now we are right there. Inside the terminal, we're gonna add inside the uh, dependency, mongoose, body parser, compression, and element. After that, we're gonna run yarn add dev dependency Morgan. Perfect. So we just do this stuff. So finally, we're gonna add the first thing. So you see, we add the first library first. So mongoose body parser compression and element inside the dependency. And, Mon uh, and uh, uh, Morgan go to the dev dependency. Dev dependency Morgan. And all the rest is there. Perfect. After that, I'm gonna just start the server. So they have that build. So webpack compile. Perfect. After that, yarn dev. Perfect. It's still running. Perfect. So now what we're we gonna do inside the source folder, we're gonna create finally the config folder. So we're gonna create a config folder. Inside this one, sorry, I'm gonna yeah. inside this one. I'm gonna create a file called constant.js. Why do I want this file? Uh, this is just the place where we're gonna set up all the like the URL and everything we want to use in in the app with some kind of like that's gonna change. Like if you are in development, that's gonna be that. If you are in testing environment, that's gonna be this. If you are, if you are in production, that's gonna be that. So all we want to make it it's gonna be so much easy. Cons dev config is gonna be an empty object. Cons test config gonna be an empty object. Cons prod config gonna be an empty object. And after that, cons default config is gonna be an empty object too. We're gonna to fill that, but no worry. I mean, this is just for setting up. So what we want to do. So finally, we're going to replace this line of code here. Consport. I'm going to copy paste this thing. And I'm going to go inside uh, default config. I'm going to say port. What is a default config? It's just a config. Then on, if I'm in dev, test, or prod configuration uh, environment, I'm going to use it. So that's why I make it inside default config. It's just so much easier. I mean, you're going to see. After that, I'm going to create a function here. I'm going to say env config. This thing gonna take an environment uh, as an argument. I'm gonna do a switch statement right there. We're gonna look for the environment. I'm gonna have a case where the environment equal development. What I do, I return dev config. Nothing more. I return this object. If I'm in test, I'm gonna return test config. And by default, so if I, I'm not in dev or test, I'm going to return prod config. Perfect. So that here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export default an object here. And that's going to be dot 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 default config dot 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 env config. And I'm passing my process that env that node env what I just did. I, oh, uh, maybe some of you don't understand what I've just did, but 
what we did there it just i mean it's crazy with this new stuff what we did it's we finally say i'm gonna take this default config and i'm gonna take the result of this one and i'm gonna just make one object so it's not gonna be an object with an object and another object there's gonna be a one big object with both so finally like an array like we concat the um uh, both object inside one yeah it's uh, i love it i mean after that we're gonna create inside the configuration we're gonna create uh not there i'm gonna just set up that first here import constant from slash config slash constant don't need that anymore boom here i'm gonna add my constant and i'm gonna add my constant if everything's still working boom i have everything i need Perfect, still working. Now here, what I'm gonna do, it's uh, I'm gonna create a, a database that GS. So that's gonna be why I'm gonna set up just my database. First thing, import mongoose from mongoose. So mongoose gonna connect for us with the MongoDB. So then I'm gonna import my constant from constant. After that, I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just write a command, remove the warning with promises. So if you don't do this line of code right there, oh, MongoDB gonna uh, send you an error with the promises. So this is what we need to do. After that here, I'm gonna say, connect the DB with the URL provide. So the, 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 the URL of the database we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a try catch. You're gonna see, I love try, I try catch. So I'm gonna try to make a mongoose that connect with the constant that mongo. Oh, what happening? I have no autocomplete. Yeah, because I forget to add it. Here inside the dev config, now what I'm gonna say, it's I'm gonna just finally create a, a mongo URL key. And the value gonna be equal to my MongoDB I want. MongoDB, local host, make a node.js API slash dev. I want it to be test, copy paste, test. And for now, for production, we're gonna use it, but don't worry, we're gonna use something else, but prop. Now, just for showing you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uncomment this line and I'm gonna just console log constant. Look what's gonna happen. If I console log constant, what I'm gonna get? Uh, what did happen? Too much. I'm gonna close some stuff here. I'm gonna close this one. Now I think I get. The, I'm gonna just restart the server. Maybe it didn't see what happening. Perfect. So now if I console log my constant, hmm. So we're gonna try. Here, I'm gonna see if that works. Consent that Mongo URL. We see it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but yeah. so I'm gonna just delete this. And now, here inside my catch, the only thing I'm gonna need to do is Mongo's that create connection constant that Mongo URL. Perfect. After that, Mongo's that connect. Uh, connection ons so here inside the ons I'm gonna say ons open I want to uh, log oh man sorry console log mongo db running oh yes Lynn don't like that go to the top yes Lynn Disable, no, console, boom. Go back here, on error, because now it's only one open. On error, oh, bang, here, throw, error. Nothing more, call back, error, we throw the error, that's it. Now, if everything is still working. Yeah, so now I know what's happening in the last episode, I'm so sorry. Now we need to import here. So I'm gonna just import, we don't need to import nothing. We're gonna just import. This the file. That's it. MongoDB running perfect. And now look what I'm gonna do. 
I'm going to console log my constant right here and look what's going to happen. Boom, the object port Mongo URL. That's it. This is why I love the rest, the spread operator and the rest at the same time. Perfect. So now we set up the database. MongoDB is running. Now, time to set up uh, the middleware. We're going to use some middleware. So I'm going to just add the most simple one to add and we're going to add more in the route. So import Morgan from Morgan. Import body parse, sorry for parse the, uh, the request in JSON. Import compression from compression. Import, oh, import helmet from helmet. Right here, I'm gonna do export default app like this. What did I just did? Why I want to do this? Look at this, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna say import middleware config from the config middle oh, middleware. Now look, right here after I create my app, I can do middle config. Boom. So now I give my app right there. My app is there. So now what I can do it's app that use body parse star that JSON. Want to parse JSON. App that use body parse star that URL encoded. I want to use Postman and I want to use the XFORM encoder. This is what I need. Perfect. After that, now we have three libraries who don't be used on by default. We, I want the, like element and configuration to be in prod and I want more again to be in dev. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create two variables here. Is dev gonna be equal to process then end that node and equal development. I'm gonna create another one because is prod equal process then end then node and equal production. So that's gonna be finally pro production. That's gonna be finally a boolean. That's it. Compression need to go at the top. Need to be the first middle word. So here, cons if is prod at that use compression. Boom. If it's prone, app that use element. The N11 library of security, just go there and we have everything set up right here. After that here, what I'm gonna do, it's if is dev, app that use Morgan, and I'm gonna say Morgan dev. Because I want to use uh, some color I already built and the dev, it's the one I really like. So now example, if I refresh my local host, what's gonna happen, boom. This is what happening. This is Morgan right here. Morgan show uh, the request right there. So I get a 404. If I don't want to get an, another 404, I can do app that get slash rec res. I'm gonna say res that send hello world boom like that. So now if I refresh my screen, hello world. Three, uh, 200 from uh, Morgan. Perfect. We set up the database, we set up some configuration in the middleware. Next episode, we start to write some authentication uh, code. I want the user to be able to uh, sign up first. After that, we're gonna make the authentication with passport, GS, with GWT and locally, with email and password. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comment if you like this new kind of video. And uh, 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 please like if you like. And uh, we see you later. Bye.